part 12 of my career tips for software testers. Thank you so much for coming on this journey with me. I really enjoyed putting this video series together and I hope you got something out of it too. To recap what we've covered through this series, we started with why. We spent a bit of time reflecting on what we've enjoyed in our roles in the past and how we can find the next role that really suits what we want to achieve with our career next. Then we would spend some time discussing how you can build out your profile, adjustments to your CV, and how to make your LinkedIn profile stand out. We also briefly discussed setting up a GitHub profile too. But we broke that down by saying the job application process is completely broken. Uh, networking is key. I've gotten my last three job offers from networking, speaking at meetup events, and maintaining an online profile. Next, we went through some interview tips and skills. Uh, by using a mind map during the interview process, you can help demonstrate your creative thinking and communication skills. Next, we went over the command line. You will impress all of your colleagues with your technical prowess, even if all you do is check your emails from the command line. We also discussed trending tools and technologies. I recommend focusing on tools that help you collaborate with other developers rather than creating divides. We went through the tech profile, uh, setting up GitHub and discussing how to have a show not tell approach to your technical credibility. You don't need a certificate to demonstrate your cred, but you do need to have some something online, whether it's a blog, uh, a YouTube video, or something on GitHub. You do need to document your learning process. Then we had a bit of a rant on the manual versus automation. Uh, I think we should try to avoid using these terms in how we describe our roles, but unfortunately that's where the job market is at at the moment. I try to avoid using any of these words on my profile. We also briefly discussed other resources that have been really beneficial to my career. I really hope you check them out. Then, finally, we did a deep dive in how to set up a GitHub profile readme. This is a new feature that's only been released in GitHub within the last week or two, so I really recommend checking it out. I hope you found these tips really useful. I know the job hunting market is hard at the moment but I know you will be successful. I know you will win big in your ultimate career goals. And I'd love to hear when you are successful. Please reach out to me when you do score that next big role or your career does go forward in leaps and bounds. I wanna share and hear all those stories. Thank you.